What's up guys and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. Welcome to week three of the season. Today we are out here at the Auto Club Speedway getting ready for the Auto Club 400. Beautiful Southern California weather looking like it's going to be a great race weekend and uh, and let's get into it. Now last episode we, we kind of learned a thing or two all right so obviously we could change our car setup tighter it is lower tire wear it's going to be a little bit a uh, little bit slower looser it is more tire wear but it's also going to be significantly faster now uh, obviously we spun out at the end of the last episode so the strategy there is like it's i'm pretty sure you adjust it i've seen it at the races there's like a a nut at the top right side of the the back window or something like that and they can spin it and it changes i, I don't know what you're changing that the you know tightness and looseness of the suspension obviously in, in some way but um so like if we were going to be doing a long race in this game and we were doing 100 laps or 200 laps or something ridiculous, we could start out super loose and get some speed, gain some positions, and then when we're getting towards the end of our tire's life cycle, we can kind of dial it back and tighten it up a bit so that you get a little bit more use out of those tires and then get new tires, loosen it up so they're a little bit quicker, tighten them up, that sort of thing. Obviously, with the short, shorter races that we're doing, we don't really have that freedom. So I'm thinking, I mean, I, I, I'm thinking if we stick somewhere around this middle range, we're obviously going to have to mess with it depending on the track and, and kind of toy around with it. I'm, I'm thinking that might be best case scenario for us. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I have uh, have never raced here before. I have never really seen this track before. So this is, this is going to be interesting. Looks like it's a, uh, it's an oval. We're going to be doing a lot of, of left turns here, and uh, we're just going to have to have to learn this line and, and see what we can do. So it looks like you stick down towards the bottom, not the total bottom, through that first couple of corners there. Get up towards the top here, cut it back down. Are we going to have to let off a little bit? Oh, we got to let off a little bit. You would think just going in circles and turning left the entire time would be super easy but no there are so many little things that you're gonna have to get used to so there's there's our first lap down looks like we get up towards like closer towards the wall uh towards the end of each of the straights Ooh, we really let off here dude this i mean this is not gonna be easy this this is gonna this is gonna take some getting used to for sure we we gotta stay really Really confined here. Got to got to really try to focus on making sure that we're we're always right on that line. I'm trying to get a little bit of practice getting a draft in. Dude, this is this is. I mean, honestly, it's going to be a tough race. I'm not going to lie. All the the little nuances and tiny little little things that you have to have perfect make this so much more difficult than you would imagine. Meanwhile, we're constantly flexing on this wheel just trying to trying to wrestle this car into where we want it to go come on baby you guys will notice we do have the f1 wheel in here obviously not a not a traditional nascar wheel go ahead and go around me bro i don't know what i'm doing um we're we're just playing nascar and f1 simultaneously at the moment and honestly it's it's like i record so much it's a little annoying to constantly have to change the wheels so i think i'm just going to stick with the f1 wheel gives us those thumb holes and we can kind of kind of grip it a little bit tighter so our goal is a 41.7 and our best is a 42.6 that was our best lap that we just set right back there so let off just a little bit not nearly enough we're gonna sail up towards the top dude this i mean it probably doesn't look like it but this is actually pretty challenging if i tighten this up Let's let's try tightening it up. This is what I love. We're actually, you know, getting out there and, and trying some different things. If we tighten it up, I mean, if we're a little bit slower in the, uh, ooh, we kind of, we probably should have stayed low and let these guys get around us. If we're a little bit slower in these corners, we may not have to let off the gas. Now, obviously we're getting up to speed out of the pits here on this one. So that's not going to count. But once we come around and, and go through turns one and two a second time, I'm wondering. Oh, no, we're still going to have to let off the gas, but maybe not as much. Okay, so I don't know if it's just in my head or since we've been practicing for a bit, but that that definitely felt better. Let me see what we can do if we get a full solid lap of nobody in our line. 
of us in this uh, in this car setup. Maybe we wanted to be extra tight this time around. Woo, getting close to that wall there, Trub, but we're good. Just hang on in there. We are, I mean, we're flying compared to the guy behind us. But off it a bit. Dude, you just got to toe that line where you're, you're staying on it enough that you're not losing time, but you're, you're not going too fast so you don't go floating too high. Tell me this is a good lap, dude. Tell me this is a good lap. 42.9. To be honest, I, I think we just gotta, we gotta roll. I, I'm just, I'm gonna try my best. Obviously, when we're out there in the, the midst of all the cars, it's gonna be a different thing. We're not gonna have one line we're gonna be able to follow. Um, it's gonna be an interesting race. Th this is, this is definitely tougher than I was expecting. So, uh, let's, um, I mean, let's just go ahead and move on to the next section. So, one thing we've been, we've been doing wrong is not following the rules of the road when we exit pit road. So, uh, We've been just like hopping right out onto the track. I don't know, just obviously it's a video game. It doesn't matter as much, but in real life, you're supposed to stay down here till you get up to speed. And then once you see those broken lines, that's when you can get out onto the track. Obviously here in qualifying, it's not gonna make as much of a difference because we're the only person out here, but like in practice, you don't wanna have an unsafe entry into the, the track for sure. So here we go, let's get low. Try to build this speed up. Uh, if you want me to be honest, I've got a feeling we got a, a hot P40 qualification coming in right now. We have no racing line. We were already kind of struggling on the racing line, to be honest, even with having it. So I don't, uh, I don't expect a ton out of us, but we're we're gonna hope for the best, and expect the worst. We stayed real high on that one. We're gonna see what we can do though. Stick to the wall. I do know it got a little bit closer to the wall as we approached the corner. You cut down. You got to let off the gas a bit. Try to get down to that apex without wasting too much speed. Ugh. Our goal was 41.7. We are not going to make that. 42.6. 30th. I mean, it's not last. <laughs> so that's a plus. The Auto Club 400, this should be an interesting one. Stories of the race, Chad fin Finchum, Finchum. Some of you guys are saying you're, you're, it kills you that I'm pronouncing the, the names wrong. Sorry, whatever. Uh, Chad is well prepared. Kyle Busch crashed during qualifying and he's driving his backup car. And Joey Logano gave up qualifying position for new tires. Interesting. I like how it highlights each of the cars too. So seeing as, as Joey Gave up qualifying for new tires and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're starting off P28. That's exciting. That's that's not P30. We went up a couple of spots. I respect it. Working our way up, doing our thing. Ooh. Fincham's trying to hop in our spot here. So they, they said that he was doing pretty well, right? Pretty sure what, that's, that's what they were talking about. So definitely going to have to watch out for him. Let's just try to keep in this draft. One thing that I didn't... I didn't notice, and you guys may not have noticed, is down on the, the speedometer in the top, or bottom right, I'm sorry. Um, it does let you know when you're in a draft, which is fairly useful. Careful, still there. Okay, we're dropping a bit. We gotta make sure to, to let off, Trev. It's not all about the gas. Sometimes the gas slows you down. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta slow down on the throttle a bit. I don't know if we should be all the way down here. We're gonna see if we can squeeze our way in. I mean, they gotta make room for us, right? Ooh, this, ooh, shoot. See, like, I just wanna keep gassing it out, but then we go wide and, and it slows us down and everybody catches back up to us. We gotta be, we gotta be a lot more thoughtful about what we do and, and when we do it. Cole Custer right here. Try to get down to the inside of him. Dude, this, this is like a traffic jam out here. You're all clear up top. We're good. So we've shuffled around a bit. We're up at a P25, which isn't bad. We've got 14 laps. That's two down. Entering lap number three here. Ooh. Don't slow down too early. Okay. Still there. Whew. Had to avoid an accident right there, unfortunately. Hold your line. Got one inside. Come on, baby. 
We're back down to P27. We're going to be okay. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. It could be worse. Still there. Ride this one out. Come on, baby. Highlight clear. Getting back up into the muck. Clear high, bud. Clear high, you said. What? I am not clear high at all. We're bouncing around like a little pinball in here. Ooh, hello. Just a wee bit of contact there. Whew, sorry, Austin. Hold your line. Clear down low. Making our way up into P22 here. Gonna try to try to let off and try to get down towards that apex. Gosh, I just I wanted to turn more, man. I wanted to give me more, and it just can't. There's so many forces at work here. I just want the car to grip more and, and, and give me more turning, but it doesn't. It, it's it's because I'm giving it too much too much throttle. All clear. Not where we want to be up here, Trev. Not where we want to be up here. Got one down low now. Oh, that's a wall. Nice to meet you. All right. We're P22. Woo. Okay. Nice to nice to see you too, man. Oh, got him a little bit loose, huh? <laughs> Better stay your toes around me, boy. I suck. Better be ready to be, be spun out at any moment. All right, let's let's try to let's try to, to dial this back in, Trev. Let's let's be smart. Let's let's make sure we keep our wits about us. Let off, get down to these apexes, accelerate out of them. Feel like I wouldn't wouldn't know what an apex was if it slapped me in the face, but I, I can sit here and pretend pretend that I'm I know what I'm talking about. I couldn't find the apex if it, if I was gonna make an inappropriate joke, but. We're just gonna leave that one unset. We're gonna leave that one in the drafts. Speaking of drafts, let's try to catch something here, Trev. So we're up at a P21, which isn't bad, dude. That was a really exciting start to the race. I really enjoyed that. Here comes Kyle freaking Bush in his M&M car. Freaking Mr. Kyle Bush, I win everything. I'm a freaking boss, just whipping his D out and sloshing it all over the place. Is he gonna get around us high, dude? Are you kidding me? I. I'm tempted to just wreck him. Here, let's try to grab a draft instead. There we go. Draft showing up in our bottom right. I'm just going to see. He's running high, dude. How is he running so fast if he's running high like that? He's not taking the line that anybody else is taking, and he's Kyle freaking Bush, so it's working for him. Honestly, it's it's... It's really incredible. Ooh, I see Buescher kind of getting a little bit loose there. We're starting to get down towards the uh, the last part of the race, so we might start loosening up a bit as well. I believe our setup was was about 50-50 on tightness versus looseness. We're going to get around him. Um, it, it's just, it, it's like, you always see jokes about NASCAR drivers and turning left and, like, comparing them to other athletes and other racers and stuff. But, dude, like, even just... just racing on this gives me such an appreciation for it and like i know quite a few guys who drive and i like I, I follow the sport fairly closely not super closely but fairly closely so like i'm kind of in the in the scene a little bit like i know of the world so i feel like that gives me a better appreciation for it already but like just this like all the little minute details the tiny fractions of a second fractions of an inch that all add up into going a couple thousandths of a second faster than other people. It's just, it's it's miraculous to me, dude. It is absolutely crazy what these guys are able to do. And they're able to stay locked in and focused like this for three, four, five hours at a time. You know, you get cautions, you're stuck out there on the track in the heat, and then all of a sudden you've got to turn it back on. Suarez, hey bud. You're like you're like a bumper in bowling. I'll just I'll just use you to make sure I don't float to the outside of the track. I can definitely feel our tires getting a little bit looser here. So we gotta be careful. I'm not I'm not trying to wreck out at the end again. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. Alright, you're clear. 
All right, that actually wasn't that bad of a move there, dude. We kind of gave it a little bit more. Oh, he touched us in our, our rear end slid a bit. Now we're on the outside. This isn't where we want to be. I thought I was going to say that was a good move and we, we gained on him, but... Oh, gosh, dude. I am sliding. I got to lay off. I got to lay off the gas here. I don't wreck, Trev. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. You've got... You've got a couple laps left. Come on, buddy. Just just hang in there. This is miserable. We might have to turn the race up a little bit in terms of length so that everybody takes a pit stop or turn it down so we don't need a pit stop. I just I feel like it gets so sketchy here at the end. I'd like to to get top 20. That'd be nice. I don't know that it's going to happen, though. I just got to baby this thing, dude. I almost feel like it's making me drive better, though. Like, that was a clean corner right there. Are you kidding me? If we could have been racing quarters like that the whole race, we would have been in good shape. Two to go. Driver. Two to go. I'm going to try to take the inside on him. And he's not going to give me any space. We're going to try to go around the outside, but that's going to leave us up high, and he's going to have the better line there. Whew. Try to get a draft in, Trev. Let's not throw the entire race on this one position, though. You already went from P30 to P21. That is mighty respectable. Nobody, nobody would be upset with you about that. Come on, baby. Take him on the inside. Take him on the inside here. Gotcha. White flag, next time by. Give him a little wave. Wave out the window. All right, we just need... Oh! Joey Logano! Did a 360 behind us. What in the world just happened? And where did these guys come from? I'm assuming we're, we're about to get lapped. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that's the, the lead group or something. Dude, that it was so random. All of a sudden, there was a giant car sideways behind us. We're chump change down here, dude. Just getting picked on by the big sharks. But it looks like we're actually going to make it to the end this time. Dude, I, I, just flexing the whole time. Just, ah, my wrists, they actually hurt. Holy cow, we got a 93 speed rating. We went from P30 to P20. Honestly, not bad. After seeing our qualifying... And our, our, not even our qualifying, our practice. I, I, I was not super stoked about our practice. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take it. So what was our total time? 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Looks like a, a, a difference of 17 seconds. Would have put us in, in first place. Denny Hamlin, William Byron, Alex Bowman. Where was, uh, where was Joey Logano? He would have been down towards, I, I mean, he must... He must have wrecked out. I'm assuming he was up towards the front and he was lapping us. And that's that's why he spun out behind us. Wow. All right. He's got 20th place, team payout, merch payout for a total of $131,000 in our pocket for that race. And that's going to be a wrap on a week number three. Not bad, dude. We're 29th overall in the season. Hopefully we can kind of improve as we go along. I feel like, I mean, there's there's only one way to go and that's up. It's not necessarily true. I, th I think we're doing all right so far. I'm having fun with it. I didn't expect to come in here and, and dominate. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys want more of this. I'm just having a blast with this in F1, man. I'm, I'm having so much fun. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you all later. Peace out.